So time starts, you know, everyone's rushing. We only have an hour to cook and we want to cook something that really impresses the judges. Especially so because, you know, the bottom two are going to face off in a, in a cooking competition. What do we got? I see a lot of variety of pork. You know, I see like minced pork, I see pork belly, I see bacon and I see pork loin. And um, immediately I zoom in on the pork loin. It's a meat that doesn't have a lot of fat and also cooks very quickly. What are you thinking about protein? Um, I'm thinking pork belly, cut it into a thin, crisp it up yeah. for texture. And then um, I'm thinking of the pork loin. Yeah, sounds good. We have a very solid game plan. I think tacos are an amazing idea. You know, tacos are just uh, a vessel for whatever you want to put in it. So I'm going to be doing the dough, the condiments, uh, the salad, and uh, uh, Leonard's going to be doing the, the protein and the mayonnaise. Bread maker is going to knead the dough. So instead of having us to use our hands, uh, the bread maker just does it all for you. I'm confident this kneading function is definitely going to help us, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Well, the first thing I start doing is, you know, I want to get the meat cooked. You know, pork loin is something that can overcook very quickly because it doesn't have a lot of fat. I basically start trimming down the pork loin into a size that I think is um, small enough to be eaten in a taco. Um, so I basically sear my pork loin until I get a nice crust, a nice caramelization on the outside. And then I put it on a tray and I finish it in the oven. I see that the pork's into the oven already. And I'm thinking, um, I think we're on track. Leonard's really good with protein. He's making sure that the doneness in the center is perfect. Pork loin 60, yeah? Uh, yeah, 160. Basically making a spicy um, lemongrass uh, mayonnaise. And um, I think it's going to be really delicious with the pot wine that we have. 15 minutes left to go. I'm starting to roll out my tacos as fast as I can. These batch of tacos are coming along really, really nice. Slightly golden and slightly puffed up. They're really taking shape. You know, pork is the main component of the taco and I don't want to let markers down. It's very nicely cooked, still moist. And you know, it's a huge relief because um, we're on the right track and we're doing the right thing. The pork is perfectly cooked to the dot. It's slightly pink in the center, and man, if he let me, I'd eat that whole dish all by myself. The next dish we'd like to taste belongs to Marcus and Leonard. Walking up to the judges, I feel really proud. I had a lot of fun, and I'm pretty sure it speaks for itself on this plate. I just can't wait for the judges to taste our food today. What did you cook for us? It is Thai pork tacos with Thai-style salad. Mm. Where do I start? You know what, I'm just going to go in with my hands, guys. Bam! This is so good. This is honestly so good. I couldn't wait to get that word out, but... um. This is an incredible salad. It's just got the right balance, got all that fruity, fresh. You've got apples in there, you've got mangoes in there. It's great cooking, guys. Oh my god. Uh, no, no words. Speechless now, absolutely brilliant. Colorful. We are in Thailand. Who cooked the pork? Uh, me. Very well cooked, not overcooked. Moist, juicy. The balance in flavor and consistency. You got it absolutely right. Thank Please. you. Ah. I think this is one of the best tastings we've had so far. We've done exactly what we set out to do today. 